Hey guys, what's going on? It's your boy Saglitch, aka Sag. I got a little bit of a talking to you uh, right now. Um, today is Monday, but let's talk about last week. What happened all last week? One, I'm getting sick right now because my wife was sick all week last week. So just want to put a special shout out to her. Thanks, babe, for getting me sick. Um, been fighting off this forever. She's on the overpass of coming, getting better. But now I have to deal with the fighting of it. And we're going on vacation on Thursday. So that's uh, something to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, what all happened last week? Starting with Monday. My wife was having a really rough week last week. And supposedly Monday when she was coming home, uh, there's a straightaway in our neighborhood before you turn on our, like, we're the first house on the third row. Well, there's a straightaway on the neighborhood. And supposedly when she was turning into the straightaway, there's these little kids uh, riding a bike. And then there was a car stopped on the opposite lane coming towards her. Well... She says she was cruising about 10 miles an hour, slowing down, seeing the kids. So she waited till they come around and she was going to go. Well, this little punk kid stops right at her window and starts yelling at her. And she was like, well, he was a teenager, but he was like 15, 16 maybe, and he was bigger. So she felt, she felt as though she was a little scared. To the point where she had to get her phone out and had me ready to dial if he would have done anything. Well, I have a problem with this. <clears throat> because for me, no man should ever make a woman feel scared. No person, no matter who you are, regardless if you know them or not, you don't bully someone or make them feel uncomfortable to the point where they have to call someone to help them out. So I told her, I was like, basically, you know, I don't care how old this kid is. Is he still there? Let me go talk to him. Because I'm not about to bully some teenager, but at the same time, I'm not going to have someone bully my wife and I and get away with it. And I don't care, you know, and this is all, honestly, I know teenagers are punks, but this is a reflection on the parents. And I'm not saying that. I know these people, I don't know if they're bad parents or whatever, I don't know if he's a bad kid, but at the same time, it's a reflection on the parenting, and you don't have a kid grow up to where he's going to bully a woman who he doesn't even know who slowed down for them so that they can get around them. So to that little punk kid, um, if you ever see this, if you ever threaten my wife again, there's going to be dire consequences. Just saying. And if the parents want to get involved that's fine. I'm not going to lay a hand on him. I'm just going to basically tell him that if he threatens my wife again, there will be consequences involving the police. And the parents need to know this. Uh, second off, on Monday still, before my wife actually left, there was this uh, situation with students. Um, not even her students. Uh, during dismissal, she gets two classes come together, and she's uh, the person watching over them within that class um, so there's probably about close to 40 students in the classroom at a time and guys if you're watching a group of 40 kids you can't focus on one group so apparently from the classroom that came into hers there were three kids that were involved and supposedly they were talking about this fake you know how kids get um, with you know their imaginations and what they play and what they uh, watch is um, they they kind of imagine like things going on with that so supposedly what happened and my wife never heard any of this one she's been stopped up all week like she can't hear everything's muffled for her she's got like a um, she's got like a sinus infection or something something to that extent she thought she had a, a ear infection as well so she was having enough tr trouble um, listening in anyway but these kids come in and they are talking about being quote unquote druggies not druggies but uh, drug dealers and uh, 
how they're having the click, and then supposedly <clears throat> something was said to the effect that we're not going to let anyone else of any other race be a part of it and that they should be beaten up or killed yeah what's i mean what, what's going on with this generation guys and you know my wife being the teacher that she does she takes her job very 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 professional and she would have reported this right away if she would have heard anything like that because it's, my wife's been in several conferences she's not afraid to do what's right and the teacher supposedly um, got a phone call from someone else's parents or whatever overhearing this. Why they couldn't call my wife, who would have been the guardian of the classroom at the time. No clue. But instead of handling this professionally, my wife's co-worker emailed him, emails my wife and is like, hey, you know, or actually no, she emails the parents of actually who was involved who didn't contact her at all and stated that her their kid as well as two other kids and she gave out the names which technically is illegal you can't involve anyone that's not your kid um, in an email you can't disclose any personal information but anyway she said hey your kids were saying this this and this I just want to let you know blah 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 and instead of you know, texting my wife to let her know that this is going to happen or this what happened in the classroom. She sends it over a group text, and their her whole team is on a group text, so her whole team knows what's going on now. Which, to me personally, if I was involved and that teacher was alerted, I feel like you could have texted me personally, like one on one, so no one else knows about this, or not even that you're trying to hide it. It's just doesn't involve anyone else but um, the fact that she group texted it and was like this is happening so I told my wife look basically let it scroll over whatever needs to happen let it happen with admin um, they're very good about getting to the situation and doing what's right so let admin handle it but yeah so I'm not sure just just a lack of complete handling of the situation um, there's certain protocols to do regardless of any situation, regardless of your job. And I feel like that's just not... Oh. You need to see a Yeah. Anyway, so Goobers want me to hurry this up. Um, yeah, that's what happened on Monday. Let me, let me, let me sit down because my shoulder's hurting, you guys. I'm really tired. I only got about four hours of sleep. So, uh, let's continue on. And if you hear some paper, I write down the stuff that goes on that I want to talk to you guys about. Because if not, it would just be rambling on. So, uh, Tuesday. Taco Bell. First off, let me do this. Taco Bell, if you're watching, still waiting for that sponsor. I mean, you don't even have to give me free food. I just want, like, not even a discount. I just want a little bit of stuff, man. Not looking for a handout. I, I mean... God knows I spend enough money at your place, but uh, yeah, come here. I apologize, guys. She is being very, very needy right now. Can you say hi again? You want to say hi? Yeah, you tell them to watch my videos. Yeah, you guys hear that? You better start wa <laughs> Anyway, uh, stop. Hey. So anyway, um... For Tuesday, we were on our way to get Taco Bell because we didn't have a chance to cook. We were tired, and uh, we just really wanted Taco Bell. The queso loop is delicious. Um, on the way, on the major street that we're on, it's like a, I want to say it's a four, well, the intersection that we're at is five lanes because there's a right turn lane, a left turn lane, and then three lanes of traffic. So, it's very busy. We're at a stop a stoplight. And we're stopped. We start going again. The light turns green. And there's a truck on the side road that I can see it's about to pull out. Well, guys, I'm in the middle lane. So, you don't have to pull out in front of me. Well, if you ever seen that Family Guy episode where the lady's on her phone. She's like, oh, I get over three lanes. Good luck, everyone else. 
Yeah, that's basically how it was. Um, the dude turned into the first lane. Anyway, he gets over without even looking. I blame my horn because he almost caused the wreck. I mean, I literally had to slam on my brakes because he's in coming in my lane when I'm literally at his side door. And he doesn't even look. And then, on top of all that, he kind of looks over, stops. So he stopped in two lanes of traffic. I had to slam on brakes. And then he, like, waves. He does this. Ooh, I don't know what I'm doing. Well, hey, bud. Someone honks at you. It's not to be, oh, hey, how's it going, dude? No, I don't know you. Don't get in my lane without, you know, what What, what are you doing, dude? You have... It's only because he needs to get in the left turn lane, and he decided that he was going to make it no matter what. Cool dude. Um, anyway, when we when we pulled up, he gets over again. When we pull up to the stop sign, or, uh, red light... He kind of looks over because I'm right beside him. He's like, oh, thank you. I was like, yeah, uh-huh, yeah. And he wouldn't roll his window down because I was about to tell him off. Can't even think he knew it. But, um, yeah, real cool, dude. Real cool. Appreciate you uh, almost getting me in a wreck for no reason and uh, being an idiot on the road, which there's plenty of. But this guy really grinded my gears. And you know it's bad when my wife, who's in the passenger side, is saying that's the same thing. Like, what what are you doing, dude? But, uh, yeah. Um, anyway, now we are up to Wednesday of last week, and I will take a second here, crossfade it in, so you guys can see this unboxing real quick. All right, guys, it is Wednesday here. Thanks, uh, Future Sag, for going in the past and introducing me to uh, this RK Blocks. It is uh, the 9th today actually these usually get here around the fourth but it took them a little extra time don't know if it was nerd blocks fault don't know if it was ups's fault someone's to blame here not wasn't really happy during the week as you can see we have already not had a good week so far but uh yeah let's get into it hopefully this turns my mind around these usually make me pretty happy so uh feels a little heavy today feels feels like there's something solid in there so i'm looking to see what they got, already forgot about last month's, what they previewed for it, but uh, let's see. As always, just the simple RK block thing, nothing too simple. Okay, guys, I'm sorry, but my wife's not going to let us use these, but how freaking cool are they? We have super salt and pepper. Look, look, it's icky. Look, Amanda. She thinks we're stupid, but... Well, I don't see why we couldn't use that in the kitchen. Like, we wouldn't have it out to express how fancy our salt shakers are, but it's a little mushroom from Mario. So that's pretty cool. That's, that's awesome. Wait, so, there's two in there? Salt and pepper. All right. Oh good. The styrofoam's right now. Let's peel. Okay. I get it. Oh. <laughs> and at the top, it's one and the same. That's neat. That way, it's always together, so. Yeah. Going to put that back before it gets messy everywhere. Oh, gotta put back in there. Thank you. Goo we're always loves these unboxings because she gets to hear really weird noises and see really weird things. So uh if you're wondering why we did it on this chair, I don't have anything right now to do a black background on and it's just easier to do it that way um still getting the office set up so but yeah don't judge me and oh my goodness okay so my wife has my wife actually got a nice jewelry box i believe this past christmas 
uh, from my mother in, or from her mother in law, my mom, and uh, she gets to keep all of her cool jewelry and fancy stuff in there, and it's in the bedroom, all cool and stuff. Well, guys, this is going in the office. This is freaking sick. It's a treasure chest, and I. I am definitely going to put my goodies in here. These, you know, when I get saved, the little save cartridges in there. Yeah, no. This. Forget putting stuff in here. I have found something sick. What? Oh, snap. Okay, I'm not really sure what it's supposed to do, but. I am horrible at these things. Okay, so it's supposed to pop up on Zelda. You get the little emeralds and stuff. I'm putting that bad boy in there, but I'm taking this out so I can put other cool stuff in there. Maybe it's going to be my change drawer. Yeah, I still collect change. You got to go to your local grocery store, put in the coin star. You get extra change at the end of the week or whatever. So that's pretty sick though. But right now we're going to keep it how it is. That sick little ruby right there. I know my wife is eyeing it, putting it in the rock. No, you can't. You can't have it in the ring. So sorry, babe. But uh, let's close that back. We'll have to figure out how to lock it with the enchanted spell because my wife likes to snoop in my my treasure junk to get that ruby. So if it's not there, I'm gonna find out where it is. And I'm gonna take some of her nice little treasures in the bedroom. So. Get this trash out of the way. Don't worry about that. That will be dealt with later. Okay, have a shirt. I'm not going to do that. That usually goes last. And, okay. So, not sure where you guys grew up, um, what year you were born or whatever. And, you know, I would, I'd like to know that so because I'd like to know what, what you guys what you guys do. what you, How you interact. What kind of people are watching these videos. But when I was growing up, I had a Sega Genesis, and that was my actual first console growing up. Uh, yeah, I played Super Nintendo and all that, it, but my personal own console that I had was a Sega Genesis. And the game I had for it that I played the most of, and actually the probably one of the first games that I got close to beating, never really fully beat it, but got very close, is Sonic the Hedgehog 2. And my wife, we have so many Turvis tumblers in here, it's not even funny. Um, but this is a sick cup right here, honestly. I am I'm a huge Sonic fan. And look look at that little devil smiling. Sonic, that little hedgehog is happy that you're here to enjoy this with him. As you can see there, obviously, we have Sonic the Hedgehog. And it's come like my wife. She actually has it. Looks kind of like the ones she already has for our house as well. Not the Turvis tumblers, but she has ones with the uh, the top and the straw included with hers. And it kind of seems like the same deal. So uh, yeah, gonna be enjoying that while making these videos for you. Uh, maybe hold it up since it does responsible people. It's got a straw in the top. So I don't have to worry about knocking it over like I normally do around the house when I'm making games. I'm like sitting there, you know, reaching over, not really looking where I'm going. And I might spill a little something. I'm like, oh, you know, I freak out because I got to clean it up. Not only do I have to clean it up from the floor or the office, make sure it doesn't get on the computer. But now I got, I got the, you know, got straw, got a top to keep it there. So it's minimum minimal damage anywhere else and got a sweet ass sonic and uh awesome blue cup blue is actually my favorite color of all time and uh the royal blue definitely goes well with a couple of things that are in the office right now that i haven't been able to hang up yet so we're gonna put this right back down back inside here and okay Um, tea towel. 
So basically, okay, so this is kind of like a, not not a tablecloth. It's a, it's kind of like a towel that you put put down uh, to put stuff on top of. But I, I don't know if it feels like I think it's gonna feel. This is going to be pinned up somewhere and maybe maybe framed up so we can see the map of Hyrule, which is from Zelda, as we all know. Um, oh man, that actually feels really well, and I like how I like how they went with the old school feel of it. Um, it's a little dark, little like worn for the wear. Oh, Google likes to look at Hyrule too. Just trying to figure out where all the treasures are. And, uh, <laughs> okay. Oh, over. Thank you. Thank you. You want to you get down for me, Kurt? No, she's, she's just going to be in the video from here on out. But <laughs> thank you for making this so easy for me. As you see, this is probably her favorite thing so far in the box. Let's put that down. Let's open this bad boy up. I believe it's a set of two. Yep. Look at that. One can go up and one can be used. Uh, they are actually the exact same. So there's two, as you see, the key uh, for Zelda's key. Um, I meant Link's key, excuse me. Oh, sweet. Okay. So it has basically, as you see, I don't know if you can, uh, the castle in the middle, the Master Sword, which is highlighted in red. And basically, this is a map of the entire game. Um, okay, that's pretty awesome, actually. And the, uh, okay, thank you. <laughs> thank, she's still trying to figure out where the actual map leads, but, uh, yeah, this is actually, this is actually really nice. It feels really nice, but, uh, we're actually gonna use this. We're gonna probably frame this up. Uh, Zelda's actually, a lot of things with Zelda here lately, uh, in the arcade block, but... There's a reason why. It's probably one of the best all-time games. Uh, so, kudos for them, actually. And the fact that it comes in two, which means you can use it for a tea set. I know that, me personally, I don't drink tea. I don't make it as much. But, uh, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me. We're just going to sit you down. Good. Sit. Good. Thank you. Sorry about that. Um... I don't personally make tea, but uh, I have, my wife actually has two sisters that are tea fanatics. One makes an awesome blueberry tea that uh, sometimes she forgets that my wife's allergic to guava. Guava? Agave? Agave? Agave. Agave. Excuse me. She forgets my wife's allergic to agave and makes it so might end up giving them one. Uh, I know that the oldest sister that actually is the tea fanatic and the awesome maker of tea might like this because she does like Zelda. She does like uh, a lot of the old school games. So uh, might give her one just to uh, put the tea on and have her nice little morning tea or afternoon tea or whenever you weirdos that drink tea, drink it. Um, personally for me, warm tea is for when you're sick and you want something to drink and it tastes delicious. So, uh, kind of getting towards the end of the box here. Um, ah, I have horrible fingernails and trying to get around this shirt to uh, get something left. And we've actually got this a couple of times. Um, the, okay. We have, it looks like a CD or a game one of the two of this okay and on the front you see the bit trip collection um these 8-bit games uh that kind of feel like the old school feeling arcade games or even uh nintendo games have been coming back uh, so let's see what we let's see what we can do here okay it's a six game collection of warm winning bit trips series okay if you're reading this it means that you're the proud owner of bit trip collection it includes six entries of a warm winning bit trip series including bit trip beat bit trip core bit trip void bit trip runner bit trip fate and bit trip flux 
if played in order, these games tell a story of a commander of commander video, a fascinating individual who insists that he is only a man. Is such humility justified, or is there more towards him that than he's leading on? The only way to find out is to play. So get ready for the bit trip of a lifetime. And it actually looks wow. So it looks like a platformer on uh, that you can play. I can't personally play these yet. Don't have a um, don't have a custom computer that will run these. Uh, and the Mac that I'm using is not does not have a ROM or a, a drive for the DVDs or Blu-ray or anything. So unfortunately, can't quite use these yet. But uh, when I do get the computer that I want to upgrade to, I uh, will definitely check this out. I mean, it, this, it seems like, you know, it seems like a little bit of fun. Uh, could just, when I'm raging at Call of Duty or any other game that I'm raging at, uh, it could be that little bit of fun that I just sit down, just stupid, mindless, like, video gaming that just takes your mind away from what's going on. But, uh, could be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm not really looking for anything like award winning or anything like that, but uh, it just seems like it could be like one of those things that you can you can just enjoy while you need a break. So uh, as always, it has a this is what you can look for in the future or the next month's arcade block. And we got Pokemon making a big comeback right now. Just Cause 3, haven't played it, seen a couple of things on it. Well, it's pretty fun. I mean, just haven't really taken the time and... Okay, so Mega Man is one of the coolest games ever. Uh, it's very highly classified under just very highly rated games as Mega Man. There's uh, supposed to be Mega Man X9 or something. Uh, I'm sorry for you guys who are huge Mega Man fans. I apologize. The only one I played was Mega Man X, so that was a really awesome game. I uh, loved it on the PlayStation 2. Uh, but one of the biggest things I see here, and I can underline it with my hand, is Resident Evil. And it says up here at the top, it has the Resident Evil 20th anniversary. And guys, that makes me feel old. <laughs> 20 years of Resident Evil, probably one of my, close to one of my favorite, um, favorite franchises, video game series, whatever you want to call it. Huge, huge fan of Resident Evil. And I actually, right now, you can go on the, um, my PlayStation 3 that I have in the bedroom set up. And it has the original director's cut from online that you could buy. Played the original director's cut on the PlayStation 1. Loved it terrified me as a kid going back and enjoying these and I, I right now for PlayStation 2 I had uh, Resident Evil 4 which is coming back around to PlayStation uh, PSN that you can buy but uh, I still have 5 on the PS3 which I beat completely awesome game loved it Resident Evil 6 I finished the Leon story but still going back randomly and enjoying that game as well and uh, just actually now looking at this, I'll probably have to go back and enjoy it just on my own individually because I have so much going on uh, with um, with the week. When this is going up, it um, should be like a Monday. I'm beginning to get a schedule going for videos and what to expect, but uh, I'm super excited. I really, last time we had anything Resident Evil-wise, it was just a key. I'm really hoping they bring out something like super awesome for that. Even if it's a t-shirt, you know, sweet. But with that being said, going to open up this last t-shirt here. Uh, actually, the t-shirts are probably one of my favorite things for all boxes. Of course, you know, I get to wear it out. I love the t-shirts. My wife actually likes a couple of them. Last uh, Hangin' with SAG actually had, a, um, had the Yoshi shirt on. So, yeah. Let's get into, I already know what it is. My wife's gonna hate it. Oh my goodness. 
I am. Oh my god. I am fanboying so hard right now. You want to take a guess? I didn't even see the outside of it. You don't. You don't. You you wouldn't know anyway. Oh my goodness. My goodness. Alright, so. Alright. I will give you this. It is from Pokemon. And we'll do a, we'll do a quiz, not to make my wife feel bad or anything if she gets it wrong, guys. Don't feel bad for her. She was never part of this group growing up. But can you tell me who anyone on this shirt is? One of the original Pokemons. That little this little bugger right here. <laughs> Nothing? No. He's cute though. Yeah, okay, so it's got every evolution of the Pokemon on it, starting with uh, Charmander, going all the way up to Charizard, the one in the back, <laughs> and oh my goodness, it, it he doesn't, I mean, it's, it's, it's an awesome shirt, I actually really like it, just to the fact that it's bringing back Pokemon, and guys, it, my wife is embarrassed to hear this, probably, or even that I'm admitting it, but I do still have, technically, my Pokemon collection at my parents' house. And, uh, so, yeah. I have a, uh, holographic first edition War Turtle. So. Yeah. Yeah, Squirrel. So, yeah, Squirrel. Squirtle. Squirtle, Squirtle. I know who Squirtle is. Yeah, well, she knows Squirtle. She just doesn't know Charmander. I mean, come on, you know? Who who is this person? She must not like fire. But with that being said, this shirt is okay. This is seriously really cute. Like, <laughs> I, what? Cute. It is. I love little Charmander. How how he's in the dark, rising from the flame, probably coming out. You can't really see him. You just see how dark it is and. Oh, uh, that's that is awesome. Man, I was not expecting that anywhere. But just how they they didn't go okay, so they kept it a little vague and I actually liked it that they didn't outline every little bit of each Pokemon except for um like you could see the outline of Charmander who is with the big red eyes and um the charts art outline of just it in black is pretty cool to me. Um, it's just an awesome t-shirt for me, personally. I, I really enjoy it. Is it my favorite overall? No. But will I wear it? Yeah. And it's really soft, so my wife might try to steal it from me uh, to wear to bed. She likes to wear some of these shirts to bed, um, and that's okay, I guess. But uh, definitely going to keep my eye on that in that little treasure box. She might try to save it or steal it from me to keep all of her jewelry in. Because, I mean, let's face it, it's pretty cool. It comes with a ruby. So, uh, but yeah. Um, also, another thing, guys, is uh, when I do get the office set up, and it will be eventually set up, <laughs> um, this will be embroidered uh, with um, the treasure chest, of course in front of it and a couple of other things from Zelda that we have but uh I actually really like how this is and it's really it's actually a really nice felt um uh, towel so um it, it's it's they they say it's a towel but in really reality it's more like something you lay underneath that keeps it from slipping and just something you have underneath as show to um uh, see but it's really awesome and the fact that they put it as a map of Hyrule is really cool too so with that being said guys it's enough time on this let me zoom back to future sag to let them tell you about the rest of the week going on here and uh yeah all right guys um i hope you enjoyed those uh those arcade blocks i know i do i like seeing what they can give us sometimes they're really good sometimes they're all right uh other times they can get some work but uh it's all in the luck of the draw. So, um, but yeah, so up to Thursday, nothing really happened. Uh, did a little bit of light cleaning. Um, 
Friday we uh, dog sit all weekend. Um, and also I got the division, got paid, so I got the division, had a lot of fun with that so far. Um, also got my wife, uh, got my wife some munchkins at Dunkin' Donuts and as well as a drink. Uh, all, every Friday I usually do that for her and her class. Uh, the munchkins are for the class. She likes to get those croissants, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, also she does like, uh, her hot chocolate. She's not big on coffee, but she does drink it. Um, and then, yeah, like I was saying, we dog sat all weekend. Uh, Goober actually, you saw her in the video earlier, she gets mopey after he leaves and she's like all sad because basically he's her best friend. And uh, when she comes over, they play so loud, so much, and it's so, it's, it's fun. But, um, yeah, um, Saturday was just kind of like a easy day. Went to go grocery shopping, relaxed a little, um. But yeah, and so Sunday, same thing. And it was daylight savings time. And now it's Monday. So uh, I figured I'd bring you guys this real quick. Um, I appreciate all the support you guys are giving me. And also, make sure to check out in the description below for my channel. Um, if you guys like the vlogs better than the games, that's fine. But this is primarily a gaming channel. So, you know, I'll, get, I'll take the support when I can get it. But with that being said, guys, I hope you have a great day. Looks like it's about to rain. I gotta go make dinner. So uh, I'll see you next time. Peace.